Hello, everyone. I'm Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I have a package that I finally received after waiting for it. I have it turned around so that you don't see my address, because I don't want anyone figuring out where the hell I live, because I don't want some fucking stalker to uh, find me and kill me. And it's uh, mostly, and this is what I got. And this is the Pile PP999. Uh, it's a f preamp, a phono preamp for a, a turntable. Because um, the turntable I'm currently using, well, what happened was, if you saw my previous videos, the turntable I had was... Um, it was like one of those newer all plastic uh, USB turntables, and so what happened was I found my dad's original turntable, it's a, a Fisher MT720, and it's a direct drive, which is really good, because there's no belts to mess with. It, and I believe, by looking at the serial number, that uh, Fisher MT720 is from uh, two. That was, what am I saying, from 1986. And so, here we have a limited warranty, which I'm probably never going to use. Here we have our AC adapter, AC, our plug, AC or DC, I don't know what it is. And it's actually, and here we have the star of the show, the preamp itself, which is actually uh, much, much smaller than I thought it would be. So it's good. That way, uh, much more room. Okay. So here it is. Uh, so here we have your inputs and your output. And here you plug in the power, and that's for your ground. And that's it. That's what the preamp is. So what I'm going to do now is I... Uh, I'm going to plug this in, and first of all, because uh, you can see right there on top of, on that top shelf, that is where my my turntable is. So there, there it is. You could get a good look at it right there. And I got this these shelves uh, about like in during the past weekend, which I really like a lot because. I finally have a place to put my music collection, or should I say rather my dad's music collection I'm trying to preserve, without uh, having everything sitting on the floor. So anyways, what, ha what happened is, well first of all, we need our uh, cables. So, I'm going to take them in here. <sighs> so... Trying to figure out what the correct way, the best way to face this is. Okay, I am not a very organized person. Most people that know me will know that. In terms of, I wasn't very prepared for this. So, I'll plug this into the output here. Okay. Alright, outputs are, the output is plugged in, and now we need to, we need the input right here. Okay, I'm sorry if you can't see anything, but I'm just plugging them in. I'm trying to remove the plugs for my, uh, for my speakers, which are currently a 2007 iPod Nano dock. So, this is also going to be the first time I have somewhere to plug in the ground cable, finally. So, the inputs go in here. <clears throat> Whoops. Input. Got this backwards. Okay, here we go. White goes into the left. This damn ground cable keeps getting in my way. Anyways. go. Unscrew the ground thing. Okay. And I'm just gonna go. Have that be the shit biscuit. Okay. And 
Okay, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay. All right, ground cable. All right, the ground plug is screwed in. Okay, so there it is, all right there. Okay, and I just need to plug it into my dock here. <clears throat> Which I know it's not the best speaker to use, but uh, it's a start. It's all they have for now, so one thing at a time. <clears throat> okay. Uh. All right. Okay. There we go. Now plug it in here to the auxiliary in. There and the right side is given. Then now, okay, then it's plugged in to the preamp, and uh, now I just need to plug in my turntable. <clears throat> Mr. Colt Agents of Fortune from 1976. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Alright. So, normally, when I previously tried to use this turntable, um, the volume would be very low, which is why, of course, you need a preamp with it. So. should be loud enough to hear, finally. Uh... What? Oh! That's why. I'm a fucking idiot. 